school holidays, Explain and never before have friend. I seen. <laughs> never before have I seen a group of people awake, but only just, kind of asleep on their feet this morning. It's very early to get up for the school holidays. Um, we're at a good place today. It's called Mind Lab. You can tell by this giant sign behind us. Uh, and these guys have, um, well, we've got a plan this morning. It's stop motion. Um, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. More about that in just a second. But what? Meet Francis, director of Mind Lab. What a cool space. Oh, it's a great space here. This is all about creativity here and having a place where people can have fun and particularly kids. So let's put this into perspective for our viewers. It's a place to come and learn new technology. Yeah, so if you look at where the world's going, it's, it's a convergent space between the subjects we knew growing up. So it's between science and technology and things. So what we do is we teach them really amazing stuff around electronics and robotics, science, technology, film, animation, and today, stop motion. It's an interesting business model. How does it fit around school and extracurricular stuff? Yeah, so this is actually a place where schools come to. Okay. Um, so they can come along as a group and maybe come and study science. They could come along and say, well, let's do a module on game programming. Um, and they'll come maybe once a week or a special trip. And then after school, we have programs where they can come in and uh, study whatever subjects they're interested in. God, there's some cool stuff, isn't there? Um, yeah. I mean, we've got uh, the green screen just over that side. Uh, there's robotics, as yeah, you say. Yeah, we've got animation labs and we've got the electronics. They get to make some really cool sort of engineering things. Um, digital photography, visual effects. I mean, it really is the full smorgasbord of cool things. And it is just absolutely beautifully set out. Stop motion is what we're doing today. These guys are in charge. They are the scientists that will be building a scene about breakfast. That is our mission. And we're going to teach you how to create your own uh, stop motions or claymations. Well, these ones are stop motion because it's not made of clay. So there's a slight difference, but it's the same principle. Very good throughout the morning. Yep. It's going to be a whole heap of fun. Uh, a little school holiday fun. Late in the school holidays, but we got there. Back right. to you guys. Meet Ruel. Ruel is an animation genius. How old are you? 13. And what school do you go to? Pinell District School. Cool. What are we doing today? We're making stop motion videos. So how on earth does that work? So it's made from a whole lot of photos of the character. And in each photo, he's in a slightly different position. OK. S seems pretty simple, but you've got to take a lot of photos, don't you? Yeah. You need about... 12 frame photos to make a second. Okay, and we're looking at about a 40 second clip. So 40 times 12. 480. <laughs> How did you do that? I worked it out before. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, Max. Max is in charge of camera at this stage. Um, this is the little camera set up right here. Give us a little demonstration, Max. So he moves the camera. You can see basically what's happening here. Uh, you can see the camera track into the model. Go for it, bud. Yeah, and now give us a little pan around. And of course, you can create those captures of those photos as you go. So that's the story. The, the really interesting part of this is that there's not just one studio. There's a couple of them. We've got another crew working over here as well. And you can see, Rorty, it's a little studio set up. That's a, it's on camera and that's what it looks like in the flesh. We're going to tell a story this morning. It's going to be a fun one. So um, we'll see you in another half hour. Hopefully, we've made just a little bit of progress. Light a fire in their belly. That's what I say. When it comes to communication, technology, and, and that kind of stuff, modern education, this is a very cool place to come. It doesn't matter if it's robotics, artwork, animation, green screen, television production. Uh, this is a very, very cool place to come along. This is the stop motion rooms, and as you can see, uh, the two studios are working particularly well. It's time to move into our second studio here. Right. Tell us, what's the story? What's going on here? Oh, so, um, Ro Roden. Royden. Royden. Royden, Royden, Royden. He starts off talking, yep. and we thought that it'd be good if he would ride on the horse from one end to the other. Okay, tell me how far you move it, the characters between each photograph. We'd only can, you, can you show us? So the horse robot, we would only move it about that much. Okay, very little, kind of a couple of centimeters. Um, let's move over here and see what's going on. Have you got us a, a little example, Dakota? Uh, yes, I have actually. Oh, we're powering down. Just bringing this up. Okay. And play. Here he is. Here you are, mate. Riding that pony. Here you are. And then the robot comes in. So, as you can see, 
still very early on in the animations. I but think, um, I think we we're could, building. I think we could take that and run with it. Rawdon, why don't you come in every morning on a horse? It's bizarre. <laughs> Who's the script writer, Sam? <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm still, I think it's just awesome. Um, no, that's yeah, fantastic. Do, so do they add a soundtrack or anything afterwards, or is it just uh, the cartoon? Yeah. Absolutely, mate. There's, it's a full production. Uh, we're working on a little bit of dialogue as well, uh, and there's effects. It's all done in a proper edit suite, and um, it, it's, it's coming together. So you just wait. It's really cool. Okay. Good on you, mate. Right. Uh, mate, you would have been a mm. sitter for Baywatch had it been the right place, right time. <laughs> Given your level of vanity. Red Thank you, Roddy. And, and how you wear a small baby suit. I know. Have a look at this. You, you, you pretty much captured my entire scene this morning uh, in my red thong in a slightly compromising position. I know it looks kind of dodgy. Uh, it all will be revealed after weather. Who is in charge of wardrobe? Who knows? Uh, Mindslab. Dot com. Uh, where is it? It's at the top of Carlton Gore Road in Auckland and it works like this. You bring the kids along, you park up, you have a coffee and a scone, uh, you send the kids off to do cool stuff uh, like make stop motions, which is what we're going to do. Ruel, you're working very hard. I don't mean to interrupt you. Um, can you please explain this? Well, we're making a stop motion video yep. using the character and he's... What character? It's more than a character, mate. That's me. Yeah. In a thong. Who chose the wardrobe? I didn't choose it. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Uh, can you show us what you've got? So this is a, a little scene that we've created this morning. Me talking away, as I do. And then I, I decide to get up. Hey! And then I wander over here and then watch the coconut. Dunk! Hey! And I fall off my chair. So that explains why I'm face down in the sand. Um, two crews working on this uh, very complicated story. Uh, and, and it now involves tanks and horses and Rawdon on a pony. Leon, yes. how's it going? Good. We've just, Wh we've just filmed uh, the ro 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 Warden on a tank, yeah. and he, and since <laughs> he's on a tank, since uh, he's sick of the robot, yeah. and he ends up scaring the robot away. Okay, it plays out like this. We do have a final product at 8:30. We're still working on it. Play it out, mate. This Dakota playing it out, and you come in in your horse. Then the robot cots comes in. And then you come and get the robot on your tank. I, I, I've had to think about this, Rorty. I just don't think it's fair that you're victorious in this story. I don't think you will be riding a tank in the real one. I, I, I think you're going to meet a horrible fate. So we'll all be playing that out at 8.30. We've got a little bit more progress to make, so we'll see you very soon. Riding a pony, being chased by a robot, and then smashing him in a tank. What an interesting start to the day. Normal breakfast. <laughs> All right, let's get through to Sammy because he is having some school holiday fun this morning. Where are these stop motion, um, where have they got to? Well, we're working on them, Nadine. Uh, we're in the final process. As you can see, the team is, is slaving over the computer. But while they do all the hard work, I'm not really into hard work. I figured we'd talk robotics. Some of the other stuff that we do here at the Mind Lab. This is Chris. This is robotics, and it's quite outstanding. It is. It's phenomenal, mate. Yeah, it's really good. It's a great way of helping kids understand that technology is not just this magical thing, you know, and we can start off by giving it a little bit of magic, but then breaking it down to something they understand and can work with. Robotics sounds scary, but these are very simple robots. Yeah, they are. They, um, I mean, we use these to teach four-year-olds about robotics. And I couldn't work them. <laughs> well, you did have to put the wheels on the ground, and that was a bit of a problem, yeah. Um, so, um, do you want me to give you a little Absolutely. bit of a demonstration? So, this is a robot, um, just like every robot. It's built of sensors and actions. It's kind of a little bit nuts in my hand right now. So, I'm just going to pop her down, but... With our four-year-olds, we might actually teach them the idea that with a robot, you can do cool stuff like show that you've got the force and move it away from your hand without actually touching it. So probably just see it a little bit better on the camera there. Um, but we can reprogram it and make it do all kinds of funky stuff. So I'm just going to make this little robot now into a little bit of a pet and go, come on. Just by reprogramming it and making it do all kinds of funky stuff. Super cool. Uh, and they get more complex. As you can see, all the, the different range of things that you can build this. Yep, so this robot, it's got all kinds of sensors on it, so the students would um, build up this from scratch. It's got infrared sensors, we can teach it to follow lines, we can teach it to drive around courses, we can teach it to 
work its way around a table and not fall off, all kinds of stuff. And this one's Search and Rescue. Uh, bad boy, this is brilliant, yeah. So the Search and Rescue one, um, this has got loads of different sensors on it. It can travel around the sea, um, or the table sea if you like. It will rescue people and safely take them to the shore. And the kids will work out different programs to try and rescue people as quickly as possible. So it zigzags all the rest of it. Yeah. I, I've actually completely forgotten the weather. I just got an update from the producers in my ear. You might need to read the weather on this one as well, Sam. So I'm so sorry. That's meant to come first. Let's get into it. The satellite. Yes. Um, Really cool, just quickly to finish, um, these little guys, um, you, can, you can make a, a, a cop and a robber, and they chase yeah, each other. Certainly, so with our little kids, it's all about narrative. It's all about coming up with a really good story. You get one group building a cop with all the sirens, another build, building a robot, uh, sorry, a robber, and chase them. You do cat and mouse, all kinds of things. Whatever gets the kids interested, yeah. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we're going to play our final uh, stop motion at 8.30, so we'll see you then. We've been working since about quarter to six this morning on this project. It's a stop motion put together by these guys right here. Enjoy. Let's look at the weather because that's what it's all about this morning again. Now, Sammy, I've got your weather forecast for you or what happened overnight, okay? Mm -hmm. Snow and ice in the, in the bottom, gale force winds in the middle, uh, hail and thunderstorms in, in the top, okay? Perfect. My job here is done. I'm going home. <laughs> Fine. No, I'm not. Of course I'm not. <laughs> Hello, mate. How was your night? Uh, that pretty much... It was, it was wonderful. I mean, no snow once again, but I tell you what, absolutely beautiful down here this morning. I woke up to the stars out, but boy, is it cold. It's sitting only at zero, but um, obviously if the lake here and that southerly coming through, it's got a wind chill factor of about minus five. So I have all the gear on. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's fairly cold. So yes, I wasn't at the mountains at all, I was at the beach. So um, a lot of imagination. Uh, put it in here guys, give me five, five fives all around. Absolutely wonderful effort, beautifully put together. Nice one. Um, the Mine Lab, uh, that's the name of this place. You can take your kids along, uh, it's thing about $25 an hour, but boy is it quality. It's not just for kids, it's for adults as well. They do adults classes, a lot of teachers are trying to upskill uh, at this place as well. It is so neat and well worth the crack. Rory, Nadine, what did you think of the uh, stop motion? That was top quality. It was so good, but can I ask you, did you turn up this morning just with a little bit of audio of a conversation we'd had at some stage to give to the kids, thinking you might have to use it? Because you took you know, along the, you took along the one of you... I can't even take the credit. No, but you took along the one of us no, while no, you were in the snow, and then they ended up with a scene of you on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, do you know what? These guys sourced all, all the stuff online. They tracked it all down and put that together themselves. So um, wow. it just shows, uh, well, it shows two things. That these guys are pretty sharp, but also uh, the systems that they have in place to teach these guys how to do it are quite superb. Uh, I'm all for it. I, I think uh, teaching kids this kind of stuff, the future, uh, I, I just love it. It's, it's, it's outstanding. So sophisticated, although now it has me sceptical that when you're mm. standing out there freezing, you're actually just in front of a green screen and you're <laughs> somewhere on a tropical <laughs> island. <laughs> I thought that was really impressive. I want to get, yeah, I want to get the kids down there. Do it.